Thank you very much. I think uh, my presentation will be as uh, long as my presentation of myself. Uh, I, will, I will start. I just wanted to in introduce the uh, European cultural heritage year as it is in, uh, a German initiative. So we in Germany, we know since a while about it and it's the occasion to spread it amongst the members. I think it's a uh, good opportunity to, to give the visibility also of our uh, professions, what we are doing. And as Aminia Shakitano mentioned this morning in, this, in, in her presentation, uh, also the Euro European Commission is very happy to have it, so let's st step into. I just make a short uh, overview about uh, what about it, it consists this uh, European Cultural Heritage Year, what, what every, every um, single um, basics were, were taken. We, we heard it several times, it's a reflection group, EU and Cultural Heritage Year, so these are the, the basis of it. Uh, the Namur Declaration, we heard also in the, in the speech of uh, Susan Kaur this, this uh, morning, and uh, very happy Echo was present to it. Um, the uh, uh, resolution of the EU Parliament towards an integrated approach to cultural heritage for Europe. So another, another point. And Horizon 2020 group getting cultural heritage work for Europe. Have to do it. Report cultural heritage counts for Europe. Uh, it was also mentioned in Aminia Shakitano's presentation. And at least we have also the Faro Convention from 2005 uh, was also mentioned in the presentation of Susan Kors. So please remind all these presentations we heard already this, this morning. It all is in, in this European Cultural Heritage Year. And for the Faro Convention, I, I, me personal, I like it very much. It's a German initiative, this uh, European Cultural Heritage Year. Uh, finally, reminding on the Faro Convention and uh, I have to say it's not signed from Germany so maybe it could have some influence if this uh, European Cultural Heritage Year will have success that maybe the German government is thinking beside and also have a look in your countries around. The proposal of this uh, concept was given to the EU Commission and they said Yes, we want to we wanna go for it. So it's still in the pre pre preparation. It's uh, not adopted right now from the EU parliament. So, but um, everybody suppose will happen in the near future for it. Um, I just mentioned shortly the aims. It's a, it's a longer, more complex uh, concept um, written about this sharing heritage and um, it's, it's more about uh, where, where you can see these uh, words just appearing like identification, participation, development. Um, I, could, I could have some, some examples for it how conservatory sorrow can get into and as in the presentation of Stefano De Caro, I'm wondering why I'm speaking. It was all said already. It was e exactly these terms were appearing. So how cultural heritage matters and also for uh, having these outcomes of it. So for, for the aims, it's just uh, go into everything is, is there. There are more, the diversity, tolerance, and the intercultural dialogue. Um, Hereby, it's a little bit different because it's a European uh, cultural heritage here, so it's local and European, and maybe in 25 years we will have the world cultural heritage here, but for the moment just, just start with Europe. Um, what might be interesting, so for us, it's uh, also the wish that there are new opportun opportunities to preserve and develop cultural heritage. I think here we are. That's what we are intent to do. So it seems fine. The European Cultural Heritage is here. They accept all these declarations, the, the working papers, and we are in, everything could be happy. 
It's, it's not, it's just, um, we know all that um, the conservatory stores are struggling everywhere in Europe. And what is, sorry, <laughs> they are struggling everywhere. So it's a little bit of kind, okay, we have here a project of Europe. In the same time, we are struggling in our daily life. Thank you. In our daily life, <laughs> but I'm 50. I would like to have. Sorry, may may you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> kind. Yeah, we are struggling. We are having fun anyway. So <laughs> it's okay. It's good to be together <laughs> in this solidarity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Remind me. It's okay for. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay. I stopped the struggling. Just, just go back. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not really the opposite. That now there is a European project, and in fact, yeah, it's cool. Now there is something cultural heritage. It's important, but it's so hard for the colleagues, the very specialist colleagues, doing such a huge work. And, and really struggling for surviving financially, how it's getting on. And um, it's just take it like it is. It is this European cultural heritage here, and it's the moment to step in, to show what about this, all these outcomes, we can contribute to it. In which way? I was um, tended to have examples of possible projects of conservatory stores. Finally, I decided not to do it because I didn't want it to influence you all. It's especially I want to spread it amongst uh, the member associations of ECHO, that they spread it in their members and have the ideas. I mean, it's not only that it exists, it's also with funding. So within your associations, if you have ideas, what you wanted to do since a very long time. Get together, make a crowdfunding in yourself with the, the conservator, restorer, what, what can they contribute to it? Nearby every work we are doing, it's just a kind of presentation of it and getting deep into. Make it, make it be theoretically, make it be in practice, showing the people having the participation of the civil society in we are the civil society, but uh, also everybody around to know about um, the more of conservation restoration like we do since a long time. So how, how do we share cultural heritage in every step we are doing? We are, we are getting on. Um, here I have an example. It was uh, in a medieval church, fragments, or some flowers, they were seen, mm, might be good. There was uh, several um, uh, figures described in the 19th century. Here it is. And I can tell you there are five peoples there. Do you? Do yes, there are five peoples there. <laughs> Believe me. This is uh, the, the light is not so well. The sun is shining too hard. Um, to translate what we are seeing, because we have these eyes to, to get in. Um, to translate it for, for others, to explain what you see. So, yeah, I'm very sorry, it's not really, cannot see it so fine. Still five people there, believe me. <laughs> Can describe it. And within this, to get further that you have just, oh, okay, there are five people and what about it is, and uh, to see in this iconographic uh, theme in this church, it's, I can say there's, there's Jesus, um, there's Judas, everybody is there in this, uh, in this little fragment. And in this moment, it was uh, very important for, for the people in the community to see, ah, there's something, now we know what about this, and they have a story, what about there is, they can relate to anything. So this is also this kind of telling the story, what we are, what we are uh, seeing. It's not only that we are seeing always uh, the story, what was before and now we use it like, like it is, but what happened all with this object? So 
might be a usual, a usual, a usual trace, but it means it was for for movable um, cultural heritage. It was transported from A to B. Why it was transported? It's uh, nothing is written, and sometimes it's it's getting together, and so you create a new story about it. Might be. Um, helpful for historians to work with it, might be helpful just for the people to have a, a story to tell about the cultural heritage, to value it in another way. Also, it's, it's just to discover it. It doesn't make so much sense here anymore for these pictures. So it's the inverse world. At, at the beginning, might be, we just found it in in a normal in a normal house in the in the first floor two two rooms um, flat and um, there were discovered paintings from the 15th century uh, must ha should should have been ignored but finally there was a conservatory store at the beginning to make the investigation of this house. Uh, with a sm little small amount, it's just because it's necessary to do it, to have the signature that they can start their work. And finally, uh, everything happened that um, it was uncovered and now it's uh, very amazing because it's one of the very early um, examples for the theme of the inverse world. The animals um, are... Uh, hunting the hunter and uh, make a barbecue out of him and eating him. <laughs> it's a story. It was discovered. It's better than a uh, two rooms flat, but in the same time, it's kind of fin financial uh, issue also. Um, this is it. It's just. Uh, Get, get into get into all these ideas downstairs there is um, the the booklet of sharing heritage have a look on it take it with you it's in English uh, spread it in your in your um, associations can come back and having more more crowd crowd uh, crowdfunding and uh, to get in contact because you have also um, special um, contact points who are coordinating it in, in, in the countries here in Germany. It's from the uh, German National Committee of Cultural Heritage. And I was, uh, I, I, I asked uh, one of the coordinator um, to get informations maybe for, for the members in the different countries. And he was so kind to say, yeah, the people can come to talk to me and uh, he, will, he will try what he can find out. It's not his job, he's just for Germany, but he will help you. And I will, I will ask to, to stand up, Dr. Christoph Rauhut. So it's your contact point. Thank you. So it's your contact point if you're interested who you have to contact in your, um, in your country. I'm, uh, I know everybody wants to have a coffee, but I just want, in this, in this relation, I just wanted to have the pleasure to, to show this diversity which is living. I mean, here's Europe in the, in the room, and um, also with all the hard, hard work was, was doing, I really wished that now the comedy is just coming in front and uh, saying hello with this... Uh, just, come on, comedy, come on, comedy of echo. Come on, don't be so shy, you are doing a hard work just uh, to make it more short, but to show you what about echo is working, how, how diverse it's, it is. So diversity is already left. So that you know, wait. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I just want to, I want, wanted to, that everybody is just saying the name, um, the specialty, specialty in conservation restoration working in, and the country. So please go on. No, no, no. From there. From there. Martin, we start. We're starting. <laughs> 
not anymore in the committee. <laughs> Martin Pitocic from Italy, from Northern Italy, as a conservator for wall paintings and easel paintings and stone surfaces. Hello, new member. <laughs> Anna Galan from Spain, from Acre. And I'm now a researcher in the University of Seville. Hello to the audience. Uh, David Aguilelia Cueco, I'm French from FFCR. I'm a painting conservator and contemporary art conservator. Restore. <laughs> <laughs> Conservator Eiffel Restaurant. <laughs> to be clear. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christian Schneider. I'm from uh, Italy and I'm an uh, archaeological and uh, architectural conserver, restorer, whatever it is. Susan Core, President and from Ireland. And your, your specialization? Oh, paper. <laughs> 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 Hello, I'm Barbara Davidson from Bratislava, Slovakia. I am a restorer of easel paintings and of panel paintings, and at the same time, the vice president of the Slovak Chamber of Restorers. Hello, I'm Elish Marsal from Portugal, and I'm a conservator restorer of polychromed and gilded wood. Treasure. Oh, and the treasure of Echo. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jana Schubitz from Slovenia, and I'm glass and ceramics restorer. Peter de Grove, um, textile restorer in Belgium, and I'm vice treasurer in ECO. Sebastian Lebruskin, I'm teaching in paper and photo conservation. I'm head of research area and vice president of ECO. <laughs> Uh, Stefan Belischke oh, from uh, Switzerland. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Stefan Belischke from Bulgaria, um, teaching conservation of wall paintings and paintings, and also have uh, freelance practice on this. And I'm vice president of ECHO. Just one, to, uh, uh, Anja Romanowski, uh, wall painting uh, conservator restorer from uh, Germany. And now, thank you. Uh, just one second more. You will have your coffee immediately. Monica, will you please, please come and say, from, if, if you know it by heart, from when to when you were president of ECHO? Because all the work here, I'm, I'm here since, since two years. So the ECHO work was done by others. In fact, I don't know it by heart. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the committee. Uh, president, maybe seven years. Oh, we have it. Take it, take it, take it. No, show it, show it. First check. So, Monica started in 2003 as um, deputy treasurer, and from 2006 until 2012, she was president. I think it's the longest presidency we ever had. <laughs> I'm a predecessor. Yeah, we have more here. Into it. So they are all hidden. Uh, just come up. Um, predecessor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike, Michael Ilva Mogens, please. And in the same time, uh, former com committee members and also vice president Mechtel Nolmino and Jeremy, come on, also <laughs> committee member. So you have all this. H have I forgotten anybody? Cornelia. Cornelia, of course. Anybody else? Anybody else who was in a co-active? <laughs> we are the other one.